replacing an XDSL or voice service board of the MA5600T. An XDSL board is used as an example. A voice service board can be replaced in the same way. Record the cable connections. Loosen the captive screws on the cables and remove the cables. Loosen the captive screws on the panel of the service board, pull the ejector levers to 90 degrees to the panel of the service board, smoothly pull out the service board along the slot, and dispose of the service board according to the specifications. Please pay attention to these items. Insert a new service board into the slot along the guide rails. When the ejector levers are in contact with the service subrack, pull the ejector levers to zero degrees to the panel of the service board and tighten the captive screws on the service board. Connect the cables according to the recorded positions and then tighten the captive screws. Check the run alarm indicator on the service board. If the indicator blinks green once a second, the service board is running properly. 